Hello everybody, this is Zephyrianic, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Now, the audio changes I did last time seem to have worked fairly well. I'm gonna try Azazil, 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 whatever. What do you have? You have a, a short range charging brimstone. Interesting. I don't know what item this is, and it doesn't appear there, as it probably shouldn't, considering it is a, uh, whatchamacallit, an item that you, oh no, an item that you start with. Wow, this actually doesn't deal as much damage as it would, as you would think it would, and it's a, I don't like the range, the range of this is obnoxious, is there any way I can increase that through items? I'm not sure. I also have a The Fool card, this is an interesting room. You know, I really wish I was more centered, but this is an interesting room layout, to say the least. Alright, so, that's just a chest with the rusted key. Let's go to the boss, see who it is. The Gemini Twins. It seems, I think that's what that said. There we go. I don't think this will be too terribly difficult. Oh, they can't go th They can't go through these. Gr oh, crumbs. Granted, I wouldn't be able to either. So this seems like a stronger version of Blue Baby. If I had to compare that to something. Bombs are key. That's horrible. Speed down. It's horrible. Luck up. That's not that bad, actually. Now, I don't think I got the item room. I don't even... I don't know if there's some en some characters that will cause item rooms to not spawn. If there is any character that would do that, though, this seems like the most likely candidate. But I still don't think that's the case. It is definitely not the case, for there's an item room right in front of us. That carries poison bombs. Bob's Curse. That doesn't seem to stack with the char with this character. Well, it's kind of interesting that that can appear in here now. Just bombs. But let me destroy all of these. Oh, look. We got a pill from that. We got two pills from that. What are you? Range up. Tears up. I can't tell if that actually increased the range or not. And another luck up pill. So we have, we have had two luck ups. No, excuse me. Which I'm very happy about. That's going to hopefully help out drastically. We have Gluttony, which it's kind of ironic that the game, well, not ironic, I'm sorry, I'm using that the game gave us Gluttony, because yeah, I am actually pretty hungry right now. I had dinner a few hours ago, but I didn't eat a lot. I wasn't very hungry because I had a late lunch. So yeah, we will continue on to the next floor. I will not take that pill. You're a vile pill. I actually forget what that pill did, but I know blue makes me blue. Blue makes me blue. Oh, no. I forgot that that was a bomb guy. Okay, well, I'm not a bomb. Yeah, that was a guy that just explodes. I'm sorry. I really need to get used to the item drop timing with this because I keep accidentally just wandering over items, and that's gotten me killed before. I think it was it was the first or second, another luck up. Okay, then. The first or second episode. Okay, let me see something. Yep, that's that does go up. Okay, anyway. The first or second episode of this... I died because I accidentally skipped over a heart <laughs> when I was trying to pick it up, but I didn't. I just walked right through it. It was my It's my own fault. I mean, I'm starting to get used to how that system works, but still, I wasn't really expecting that. I don't know why that delay is there either. It wasn't there in the original Isaac, but it's not really a big deal. There's a lot, considering there's so many things in this that weren't there in the original Isaac. For one, take a look at almost everything that just happened in that room it was not in the original Isaac. Dingle wasn't in the original Isaac, thank God, because Dingle is a son of a bitch. Oh, no, get out of the way of the Dingle. Get out of the way of the Dingle. I can escape the Dingle via my speed. I can escape you and hide in the poop. Can I poison you, actually? I can poison you. I'm going to poison you. There we go. You're poisoned, Dingle. That didn't... Interesting. That didn't do anything in the boss room. Oh, nope. He's charging. Can I hide here? I can't hide here. There we go. <laughs> Although... Anytime I shoot out from that, I'm going to damage my hiding spot. No, Dingle, no. No, Dingle, no. Why you do this, Dingle? There we go. Dingle's dead. Don't worry, everybody. Can I pick that up? I can pick that up. What are you? You are Synth Oil, which I'm going to be okay with. I have to pay for this in Soul Hearts. I can't take any of those, can I? Okay, I can actually abuse Deal with the Devils, apparently. Interesting. I didn't know you could do that with the soul hearts too now. I remember you could do that with the red hearts. You kind of have to pay back a debt. 
Or via some trickery I could never manage to figure out. And Isaac, you could steal. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, I thought that was going to explode. Anyway, you could kind of steal deals with the devil with the blue baby and, you know, infinite Polaroid invincibility. I never managed to do it. You could also do it with the unicorn horn at some point. But I could never manage to do that. I always end up making myself die. There is a luck uphill. That's all we've really gotten is a bunch of luck. Which, I mean, no one can ever really complain about having luck. I mean, luck is an incredibly useful stat. There we go. At least, well, it is considered a stat in this. I will wait to take that. Actually, considering if we take one hit anyway, we're going to die. I don't think it really matters. That's an item room. Yeah, we don't not can justify two keys for that. Those two mix. Interesting. Hey, you can't hit me. I can just go to the side of you and be perfectly fine. Now, I'm going to go into that room that's directly above us because that has a different graphic on it than I think of any room I've been in. Was that one I could go in, actually? Or was that a... A bar... A, not a bar off. A kind of blockaded room? No, that's a trap room. Okay, never mind. We've always been to these. But let's kind of cheese this and get the items and then leave. <laughs> but that's how I play this game. And you're dead. Now, this is a very powerful item combination that you have right now. With the... Uh, I'll be honest, I actually don't know what combination of items that we have. Other than a very short-ranged brim ranged brimstone. Which is very cool. It's nice to see items like that get adjusted slightly. Granted, this is still just as powerful as brimstone. I think. Might be a little, a little weaker, but certainly charges faster. There we go. Destroy you. Now, if we do actually gain flat HP as a result of that spirit, that uh, eternal heart, I've actually finally remember what they're called. I will use Guppy's paw, but what are you? Conjoined friend. Oh, yeah, we gained Gemini back. I'll have to remember that's what that is, because that's actually an item that I very much enjoy, as I said in that, oh, that one episode where we had it. Oh, no. Those were black spiders. I didn't notice that at all. But we'll try one more run, and if this fails to, that'll still be the end of the episode. Interesting to see this character, though. Very, very l much looking forward to oh, all the other new characters that are in this game. Oh, you're dead. There we go. What are you, item? Rotten baby, infested friend. I still don't know exactly what the rotten baby's effect is. I need to pay attention to what it does on this floor. It telepathically kills people. It doesn't. It spawns flies. I think. Well, if that's the case, that's pretty cool. We got telepills, and that brought me way back here. That's kind of not optimal. It's not bad. I mean, it doesn't harm us at all. Oh, I don't have any bombs. I, was, I think I see where the secret room is. I think it's to the left of where the shop is, if you can see that on the map. Dingle. All right. We do have a friend this time, though. Dingle. So things will be even harder for you to beat us. It only takes very overpowered items for me to be able to kill you, it seems. Oh, you're spawning. Okay. Oh, no, you hit me. So, it seems that those do work in boss rooms. Ooh, let's test this. That does give us red hearts. We do get red hearts with this character. Okay. Anyway. I remember in the last run we did, we actually didn't have any, uh, whatchamacallit, any effect of the red heart, I mean, that black heart in... The boss room. I think that's because if you go to takes you on half a heart, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so apparently enemy tiers go over those walls now, so you can't really camp on the wall. <laughs> I was hoping I could do that again, just kind of cheese things. Oh, yay, double large room. And when I say, oh, yay, I do not mean that to be as sarcastic as it sounded. I'm actually genuinely happy about that. It's really cool to see things back to back like that. And part of me wishes that there were more of these, but I guess since there's not, that kind of helps make them a bit more special. Oh, and I get a single bomb from all that. Thanks, game. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Alrighty. Now, I do wish that I could have a longer range on this and have actual brimstone. I wonder, if you were to get a brimstone item, just a flat brimstone pickup with this, this run, this character, what would it do? Have I been to the item room on this floor? Can I bring up the map, actually? I can't. Okay. I was hoping I could, bring, I could hit M and bring up a larger version of the map. Kind of makes sense that you can't. That does, however, mute the music as I figured out after a couple seconds. Here is the item room. Rainbow Baby. That's the first time we've gotten random. I mean, Rainbow Baby on this on this 
this game. I was about to say this file because I'm so used to the the non-rebirth, the Binding of Isaac Wrath and the Lamb series I had going where I would say that when we got items I hadn't gotten before. Monstro, it seems there's a very small selection of items that you get right off on everything. Like on all the floors, but it seems for this floor, or not this floor, I'm sorry. I was thinking, misjudging Rainbow Baby's effect with the dollar bill. Okay, now this is synth oil again. Growth hormones, I'm still okay with that. Oh, three red chests. Troll bomb. Oh, this is the follow-y kind. Okay. Sp uh, not spiders. Okay, well, that was a completely useless deal with the devil. I still tried, and I was about to say spiders. I meant that I got, in fact, flies. Let's go in here. Oh, I forgot. These uh, these stone chests are only openable by a, a bomb like that, which I think I've opened those in Devil 1 before. I still don't know what the goat head does, though. I'm still very con perplexed by that. Oh, super lost. Well, that was easy to kill. What are you? Amnesia. Well, that's somewhat unfortunate. It's not really a big deal, though. I mean, the, uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, does that give temporary fly love? Or just a piece on the enemy, it seems. Anyway, the, uh, whatchamacallit? The map isn't really... Oh, Hematomesis. I remember that. Uh, Northern Lion got that on the live stream that I was watching. Don't fully remember what it does, but... <laughs> what was this pill? That was unknown. That is Tears Up, which should be useful. And apparently we just moved the key by running into it. I don't think I've ever done that. Although, we moved the key by doing something. I don't remember know if that was me or an orbital that did... Not an orbital, I'm sorry. A, uh, the fly or one of my companions did that. Alright, let's see what's in the item room. Oh, this is the Yod Mushroom. I wonder if that has any effect with us. Oh, this definitely affects us. <laughs> that is nice. Oh, wow. We have so much higher speed right now, too. Okay, there we go. What are you going to give us? Three coins and a key. Five more coins, and I will go into that shop. Although, I will also open this gold chest. Okay, that was a worthless gold chest. Let me... You okay? You don't need to use a key to get through that, as it appeared right off the bat. Oh, I thought, I thought these were the turret dudes for a minute, not the. Hey, I'm gonna throw my bones at you. It's not like I need them to live or anything. I'm sorry. It's not like I need them to continue being undead or anything. I'm coming to realize that Rotten Baby is actually incredibly powerful. <laughs> He's doing some work against this. So a lot of these followers seem to actually be useful, and this is. Evil plus range plus shot up for the bobby pin. And we have a deal with the angel, which is three soul hearts. Thank you, faceless angel. I appreciate it. Let's go on to the next floor. I don't remember if I went to the item room on that or not, to be honest. Well, anyway, we it doesn't really matter. We, we're so strong right now that it's not critical that we go to those. And we did. I'm sorry. We got the fire rate up. Now, it seems I have to understand how large their hitbox is for those spiders because I felt like I was out of range of them and that they weren't moving over anymore. That's why I went to that to begin with. And bam. Oh, come on. I skipped over the key. That's a self-harm room. Not doing that. I'm so very confused about what this goat thing does. Maybe that creates the deal opportunities to be a higher, higher chance or something. I don't know. What is this? This is the Bible tract, Faith Up. I don't know what the Faith stat does. I'm not going to lie. Maybe that increases the rate of what the Bible appears like it did in the original Isaac, where if you got the rosary and Faith Up appeared on the screen, then you'd be pretty much guaranteed to see the Bible at some point. We have another key and two bombs. What's in the shop? The map. Okay, we'll take that. I would buy this, but we don't have... Honestly, we don't have a spacebar item, oddly enough. This is the only run I can remember. Oh, constant turrets. Brilliant. Where we haven't got... Okay, speak of the devil, we now have the pinking shears. Cut and run. I'll probably use those against the boss. I feel like those... In the original Isaac, I like the pinking shears. If there wasn't any other spacebar available, such as like the D6 or the, the candle or the Book of Revelations, I always felt that was a good alternative because you can actually deal some pretty decent damage with that. Uh, you know what? This might be no... You know, I'm just going to skip this room. Why? Because I can. Oh. Oh, yeah, these guys kill themselves pretty much. All right, well, let's see who the boss is. Gertie! Hey! Let's use the pink and cheers. 
Wow. Okay, then. Uh, <laughs> that's dealing quite a lot of damage. Wow, I didn't expect to deal that much. Oh, this is an all stats up. Yes, the halo. All stats up. What is in here? Three more soul hearts. Thank you, Angel. I appreciate it. And we also have a black soul heart. Oh, that's interesting. That went in front of the soul heart. So apparently that takes priority based off which one you get first. I like that, actually. I feel like that could be played very tactically to your adva one's advantage if they're in a room with a bunch of them where they could take a lot of the soul hearts first and then, I'm sorry, a couple of the black hearts and then some soul hearts and then the rest of the black hearts. What? Spiders. Pills. That's telepills. And that's tears up. I'll take the tears up, keep the telepills. Open the stone chest. Not particularly useful. I've had more useless rooms, for sure. Hey, it's more butthole flyers. There we go. Okay, they uh, actually fired an exuberant amount of shots at us when their hemorrhoids burst. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Just enjoy that wonderful image while playing the Binding of Isaac. You know, I always feel like these skulls should do something. It just, I'm always kind of worried about running over them. Because I feel like all of a sudden they're going to start attacking me or something. What's in the trap room? Gold chest. I don't want to risk it with the small amount of keys we have. We have the damage to, to clear the room pretty effectively, I believe. There we go. Get a, oh, well, screw it. I'll get the bomb in a minute. Oh, oh, these guys can come after you by themselves now. That's normally the second stage of Gemini. All right, well, what's in the item room? This is... Does this work with... Oh, it does! Oh, God, that's so cool. It's kind of useless. Actually, it's not really useless at all. It's just kind of really... You gotta be kind of lucky with it. This isn't my... No, this isn't the run where I still have all the tons of luck ups. I was just double-checking that. But still, that's kind of... <laughs> it's like... For those of you that have seen episode one of Star Wars, like the, the newer ones... I'm Darth Sidious. I'm not Sidious. I am Darth Maul. There we go. I have become Darth Maul. Yeah. Get the bomb. There we go. For a second, I thought that was one of those. One of those. Bleh, those were one of the iron guys you really can't damage. Monstro two. Pink and shears time. Pink and shears time. Really? You can get stuck in the rock. That's disappointing. <laughs> That's kind of actually logical, thinking about it. It just, it's just somewhat disappointing, too, because I had to use a bomb. Waste a bomb, actually, to get him out. Although it's not really wasting if it's going to help me deal a crap load more damage. We have an HP up. I will take that before I take a deal with the devil. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I mean, I think that's the only Guppy item we picked up, but if we get two more, we become Guppy. And I think with this item set, becoming Guppy would be one of the only ways we can become more overpowered than we really are. Because right now, let's be honest, we're pretty we're pretty bloody OP. We still could very easily lose the run just because of how bad I am at the game. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, though. Man, these guys. I don't like these. I'll be honest. They took an enemy that I hated from the original Binding of Isaac and made them like ten times worse. Bomb. Explode. Oh, you can blow the skulls up. The chariot. You know, no, I'd rather keep telepills for the mom fight. And see if we can happen to get a deal with the devil or something. Another one. Oh, there we go. Although right now that wouldn't be particularly useful to us, considering we would just kind of lose most of our health and whatnot. Let's place that there. I'll still take telepills with me, though. I was really hoping the secret room would be there. Because that way I wouldn't have to run a long distance to get back there and play, I mean, go to the shop. Die, butthole. There we go. All right. So, I'm very, very happy. And my noise, my noise, my noise itching is going again. My incessant no nose itching, there we go, is happening again for whatever reason. Did I? Okay, I thought I accidentally opened that. I was going to open it regardless, but I didn't want to do it accidentally. Why, you ask? Because I like doing things on purpose. What do I have? I don't even remember what I have. That's fetal protection. I'm just going to take the, the Bible tract. Wait, didn't we pick up Gemini earlier? That was on the last run. Never mind. <laughs> the one I died on. When I do these videos where if I die in the beginning and I mix them together, it creates like this weird loop in my mind where I think I'm still doing the same run. But I'm really not. 
Oh, man. We can fire so fast with this. This is insane. Imagine having full-fledged, like, Brimstone and Polyphemus or something with this. Oh, that was one of the three-shot guys. Okay, they don't really look that much different. The original Isaac, they're very distinguishable. All right, what's in here? Two chests. It's two chests. I will try... I will perhaps go into that after the mom's fight. The mom fight. The mom's foot is what I'm trying to say. What's in here? A magnet. Eh, that could be better. It could be worse, though. I mean, it could have been mom's pad. Although, to be honest, mom's pad probably would have been better than that. What's the purple one do? Nothing. Okay. What? Uh, oh, my. It's a good thing I can fly. All right. Come at me. Okay. Okay. I, I didn't mean quite that fast. There we go. Let's split the middle. Oh, okay. That was, that was cool. An actual practical use for that. All right. So, they're all down. That is a safety cap. Safety cap. Okay. Is there anything over here? Extra? No. Although it does seem like extra things might be able to spawn over there, but I'm not sure. I'd have to test that. Did I just one-shot that? I one-shot that. And part of that is because of the use of the two, the two friends I've got with me. But still, one-shot. Mostly one-shot. I'll say like one-and-a-half shot because I can, don't really consider the companions a shot. Well, all right, let's fight Mom's Foot. There we go. Use some pinking shears early on for extra, extra advantage. There we go. Okay, I took, I just ran into the door. I think it's advan advantageous to keep running in circles in this fight, considering it's really hard to see the shadow. It actually, it might be easier to see it on the video than it is in the game, but it's actually very difficult to see that. And I actually noticed it just then, so I think I know what to look for now. So the whole taking damage from the center of the room thing is back, it seems. But let's take this range up. Let's see if that affects anything. It doesn't. Now, I don't know. I remember last time I wanted to say I wanted to test. I mean, I said I wanted to test if we went into that and used a telepill. Let's take this and telepill out. It works. That works. Oh my gosh. That changes so many things. Let's go into the arcade and destroy stuff. <laughs> get, hopefully get some coins and go to the shop. That changes everything. Wow. Okay then. That means that you can completely abuse those rooms by going in them. In What the hell is that? Broken watch. Okay, then fair enough. You can completely abuse the game by going into there. And just leaving and not potentially getting an amazing item and not having to fight for it. Consider me okay with that. Now, Gemini, I mean, conjoined friend, by all means, is not an amazing item. I consider it a very good item. I'm very happy that we got it. And there's Sister Maggie. Let's take Sister Maggie. So now we basically have a companion party going on. I'm not going to risk going back in there. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. Because with my luck, everything would spawn at once. And besides, there wasn't anything else really in there that I felt like I wanted to take. Did they spawn slow? Huh, interesting. Alright, well, we get two bombs from that, and thankfully that bomb didn't track to us. I thought it was going to, but it didn't. Oh man, these guys are hard to kill right now. Mostly because I'm too, uh, I don't know, kind of temp tempted. Temp not temp I almost said temperate, and I was using the wrong word there still. But I know what I'm trying to say. I'm a little too nervous to go over there. Just my mind cannot think of the correct meaning of what I was trying to say there. Oh, great. Now, here's where it all falls apart. I completed my test, so now everything's going to go to shit. Is this a large boss room? What is this? I don't have my pinking shears available. I might die here. What the hell? Well, you do have nine lives, but still. Wow, this is interesting. I've never quite seen a boss like this before in a game. Although, this is a very... You know, I'll be honest, I'm surprised something like this wasn't in some of the other Isaacs. Although, we do have Deal with the Devil that I'll go into immediately. Let's steal it. Oh. <laughs> It just killed me. Okay, let's take up... If we can steal him like that, even if it kills us, I can't take Guppy's tail. Darn it. Let's just do, though. 
Tears and Shot Speed up for the Torn Photo. Interesting. Although we do have Fear Shot now, so I think it's officially... We unlocked Eve. Okay, fair enough. What's in here? I think it's safe to say we're effectively a little... Status affliction-wise, overpowered. And that does answer my question about them stacking. What are you? Have a Timesis. I still don't know exactly what that does. It's got some other effect beyond that. I know that for sure, but I don't know what it is. What? Oh, the fool. Yeah, I'm not taking that. Now, I can say with almost 100% certainty, we're not going to beat Mom. Mom's heart. Mom's heart right now is just too much of a foreign boss, and it's honestly a very, fairly difficult boss now, that it's very likely we'll just we'll die very shortly after entering the room. We might die before we get there. I'm not sure. I still wish we had better range. There we go. Uh, okay, down. Wish we had better range. I'll make this a lot easier. What are you? Tammy's head. I'll actually take Tammy's head. The parasite has appeared in the basement. Nifty. I don't know why the parasite just randomly appeared. What killed me? What exactly killed me there? Was it that spider? I think it was that spider. It was that spider. Pro oh. <laughs> Oh, God, that's why I should always check before I just run into the room. Or else I run the risk of running into that. Huh. No, let's just use a chariot here. There we go. <laughs> this is effective. This is nice. I almost just killed myself by running into him after the chariot ended. Alright, got those. This is a curse room that would kill... You know what? Screw it. Let's just... Well, that was useless. Well, let's see what it drops, actually. Half a heart. Useless. Please say we can escape. Good. It responds us outside of here. That would suck to put you in an infinite death loop. Open that. Oh! Guppy's head. I think that makes us very close to being Guppy, actually. Okay. Let me see. Let me see if this works. It, oh! We're using this. <laughs> I'm keeping this. I don't care what anyone says. Guppy's head be darned. This is cool. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, that is so overpowered. Oh, my God. That is so overpowered. Now, if only that recharged... Oh, great. Okay, now we just can't really win the game, I don't think. What's this pill do? Bombs are key. Well, that's useless. That is, like, the most useless of useless things right now. Oh, great. I need to go around and see if I can pick up, not that, some soul hearts and give myself a little more survivability. This, <laughs> good lord, that may have been my favorite thing I've ever seen in the Binding of Isaac is Tammy's head in a brimstone-based item. Oh, my god, the hermit. That's, no, that's kind of useless right now. I didn't mean to unlock that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'll come back for that in case we, that's a good... So no matter what, we will be able to go into the boss room. Yeah. Oh, that was useless. <laughs> into the boss room with a charge of Tammy's head. Now, if we could get two charges of Tammy's head in that room, I think we would kill Mom instantly. Because that ripped through her health. That just destroyed her. Well, halfway, and then we died instantly because I ran into something. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, man. Tammy's head. Awesome in this game awesome in this game what's this pill lemon party <laughs> yeah you know let's use the hermit nothing yay all right so this is what we've got we have the ability to go in and die is pretty much pretty much what we're going for here because i don't think i'll be able to actually do anything because we have such short range we have no bombs right now there we go and enemies that are very, very good at tracking us. See? <laughs> I don't even know what killed me there. I think if you run into the heart, you die. But I'm not positive on that. Anyway, let me go back down. And, nope, I didn't mean that. Let me go back down and pick up that battery. And if we can't pick up the... if I'm sorry, we die one more time. We're probably going to lose for sure. There we go. Got the battery. You know what? Let me see what's in here. What are we going to get from this? Okay, it's just coins. There we go. Let me break through these guys. I will not use Tammy's head in this in case we die to something. Unless it's looking... I mean, in case we fight something that I think I would die to. Not in less than. I'm sorry. Just in case of that. There we go. 
So I think I do have a strategy plan for killing mom this time. I think I need to, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think I need to go down immediately after I use the Tammy's head and take out that other turret. Cause I think that might've been what killed me on this attempt, that last attempt. And you're dead. Please give us a soul heart. That'd be optimal. Well, you gave us a coin. That is close enough, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, it has it kind of has to be. That's all we have to roll with. And I just keep opening anything that requires a key, it seems. And then taking Guppy's head immediately after. Which I don't want to do. I don't. I do not want Guppy's head. Guppy's head seems like it'd be completely useless to me right now. There we go. All right. That's dead. Oh. Oh. We have a chance. We have a chance. We freaking yes. Oh, a noose and solar system. Oh, shall we go to Sheol? Let's go Sheol. If they'll let us. I don't know if they'll do something different. Okay. Transcendence has appeared in the basement. We unlocked the solar system challenge. And now we get to die very quickly in Sheol. All right. So we have a bomb and a red heart there. And we've got a room of death. I'm not going to go in there. Did that bomb come back? Or did I just not pick it up? I, I just think I didn't pick it up. Whoa, what? Okay, Sheol is creepy and somewhat very, very dark right now. Visually, at least. You, f you fucking what? I. How do you fight something you can't see? How? I don't get it. That seems completely luck-based. Good lord, that's difficult. Wow. Anyway, thank you for watching. That was our first mostly completed run with Ezeziel or whatever. Very cool character. Very fun. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for that noise. I hit my glasses on my pop filter. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.